Hey guys, welcome back to PTN. This is Phoenix and Matthias here giving you the guides that we promised for Elite Dangerous. I almost called it Frontier Dangerous, Matthias. That's the company <laughs> that <laughs> Frontier Studios makes the game. Whoops! Okay, that's okay. It's Elite Dangerous, guys, and here's the first guide. This is a quick overview. We're not going to go into too much detail, as we have multiple other videos that will come after this one that look at each menu we're going to sort of quickly, briefly take a gander at uh, in more detail. So. Right now, this is just a cockpit overview, and I think this is the coolest, one of the coolest features in the game. You can sort of unlock your character and browse your cockpit. You can look around at all your systems, your your menus, your options, even just look around the ship. I mean, you can look up and down. It's really neat when you're in flight that you can just look up depending on the ship you're in and see straight up or straight down. I mean, for me, I'm in a single-seater. It's like I'm in a, a car. I can look left, right, or forward pretty much. But Matthias, Matthias, what can you see? Well, I'm on a bridge. Um, I'm in the Anaconda, the biggest ship in the game right now. So I'm on a bridge. I can look to my left. I see like a whole wraparound window like right behind the ship, basically, with uh, two seats on either side of me. My co-pilots, uh, they're getting some drinks in the, the station right oh, now. Oh, okay. They're, they're at the bar? Yeah, I actually got like a pretty good double-double. It's on this way. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so every ship actually looks a little different. It's really cool. Yeah, there's that transport we both really liked when we were testing it out, where you're kind of sitting in a bubble protruding forward from the ship, so you can see full, uh, full front view of your ship. Uh, obviously, you can't turn all the way around, unfortunately. You snap your neck as a pilot, but you could see everywhere. It was really cool. Uh, if you look straight down, also neat, you can see your pilot. You can see your hands, your feet, your, you know... Your, your legs, not too much further, you know, it's a G-rated game, but you can see your pilot, I think that's neat. Um, Matthias, don't, don't lie, you tried, don't lie. <laughs> well, I tried wiggling my toes, I don't see it happen. <laughs> Alright, so the more important part of this video, let's get to it, is just a quick overview of what you have in your cockpit. So we've looked around, uh, right here you have, on, so on the left, and sort of work our way over, here's a navigation panel, mostly deals with travel, sort of missions, um, sub-targets, it has to deal with uh, mini targets on ships, so you know, guns, shields, engines. Uh, going from there, there's the targeting module that shows you what you have currently targeted, it, what its jur not jurisdiction. Whoops, I was reading it straight off there. What side it's on if you're in a combat zone, friendly, non-friendly, that sort of stuff. If you look at the center and look straight up, you have two panels, one on the left, one on the right, mostly do with chat or new contacts that have come into your scanner range. In the middle here, you'll see starport sort of menu. I'm in a starport currently, so right now I have all the starport options to trade, to leave the hangar, to do all kinds of other stuff, but we're not going to look at that right now. I just want to mention that when we're outside of the hangar, that's where your minimap is, along with throttle and speed. So it's important to note that that will change when we leave the hangar, and there's a lot of important information there. Going more to the right, we have our own ship status, so our hull strength. I actually am at 99%. Matthias clipped me. Thanks, Matthias. It was a, it was a love nudge. It was not a love nudge. You, 1%. Do you know how expensive that's going to be to fix? One, did you see that 99%, guys? That was Matthias. <laughs> Fucking Matthias. Anyways, moving on. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> we have systems after that, engines and weapons and all that sort of thing. Uh, fuel, and then another menu off to the right that pops up when you look at it, just like the one on the left. This one is the ship panel. It has to do with all kinds of you know, weaponry and power-related items. We'll look at that in more detail in our guides coming up. So if you want to take a look at the playlist, we'll have subcategories. We're going to look at the left, the center, and the right. We sort of split them up because there's a lot of information for each one. After we take a look at those videos, we're going to have other guides on all kinds of other important things, uh, such as flight, travel, or proper procedures for docking, Matthias. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, very important. I'm just going to throw this one out here before we even get that video. Always ask before you enter the dock. Well, that <laughs> yeah, they don't like it if you just fly into their station. They're like, oh, who's this big guy with all these uh, guns shooting out? So they'll try to lightly toast you with probably 20 different pulse lasers. I don't think it's lightly. I think it's obliteration. M mind you, you, oh. you escaped it. I have to commend you. I've never seen someone pause hey. and save and exit so fast in my life. Yeah, yeah, it saves you. <laughs> <laughs> Saves you huge insurance cost, guys. Just pause, save, and exit. All right, guys, uh, check back for more of our guides. We're going to have a whole playlist of all kinds of things Elite Dangerous coming on up. Thanks for watching.